The energy of the city is palpable it's everywhere. The city is the accumulation of decisions, political, economic, social. In some ways, this work is meant to be about creating more open and just city, especially towards communities that are often excluded. You know, New York City is mostly islands. There's water all around us. And you know, for all its energy and all its kind of chaos, sometimes all the noise and stuff, but there's also these like moments of serenity. You could go out to the waterfront, just like look out and just remember the water's there, you know, and we're just all on this island together. I would describe myself as an artist, designer, and educator who creates public art projects that reinforce the social bonds in our public spaces. And these projects are architectural, they're functional, they're playful, and they're interactive. My real interest in architecture, I think, comes from the idea of people inhabiting space and changing space and that kind of social aspect of it. From an early age, based on the stories my parents tell me, <laughs> I was always drawing. Art was always something that, you know, was present in the house. My style is, you know, in some ways is really influenced and it's kind of a hybrid of both my mom and my dad. It's funny because my dad being the architect, I learned you know, how to draw from him, but I, in some ways I learned how to build from my mom. And I am interested in urban theory. It really opened up this whole new world to me that I hadn't even thought about before, this idea of space being a social product. These buildings, after they're going to be torn down, so this is going to be here. I work with community groups, with community organizations, local residents, local businesses, youth, to create these pieces. And in some ways, this, this work is meant to be about creating more open and just city. I see the work that I do as part of a larger sort of vision for how cities could be more open and, and inclusive. Oh, cool. Education has become yeah. part of my practice. Today, we're going to go downstairs and fix it. It helps me think of ways to make my work uh -huh. more engaging and it challenges me to think about ways to interact with a group of people in a way that actually is meaningful. Pass it around, everybody can play around with it. When I see my projects being embraced by the community, that definitely drives me to keep doing what I do and you know, keeps me kind of wanting to explore that even more in a deeper level. I would like to be remembered for making work that really was sensitive to communities, that you know, was, was honest and genuine, and as long as people really love the work and can use it and think about the city in a more kind of critical way, I think I've been successful.